Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm the Reverend Beth Banks at the UU Church of Davis, along with Reverend Morgan McLean. Together, we welcome you to this virtual Christmas Eve service. We come from different experiences and perspectives. We join each week coming together to explore life's mysteries and to share the joys and sorrows of the human experience. Sunday on December 26th, we'll be joining the Walnut Creek UU Congregation online, and you'll find that link to the service in our email bulletin and also on our website. And starting January 9th, we'll have services both online and in person, and we look forward to connecting with you. Thank you all for being here with us, and we begin our service with lighting the chalice. We, we light, light our, our chalice, chalice, the symbol of Unitarian Universalism. Universalism. It, it is a beacon, beacon of community with a flame that warms our hearts. In this service, we'll hear the story of Christmas and we'll hear special music from some of our church musicians as well as musicians from the Unitarian Universalist Association with holiday music being shared by many congregations. This is a special story, a story of shepherds and angels and wise people and a family who all start their journey in different places and come together in a manger in Bethlehem. The Christmas story is rooted in ancient traditions. As Unitarian Universalists, we celebrate those traditions, the pagan traditions that celebrate the changing seasons Jewish traditions rooted in liberation and freedom. This is a story of liberation and freedom, of hope and changing seasons. It's a story that's told in the Christian Bible of Luke and Matthew, a story filled with anticipation and hope and love. We invite you into this story and into this celebration. Spirits by your presence 
Our story begins with shepherds watching over their flocks of sheep in the fields. The shepherds noticed the star that suddenly appeared in the sky and they wondered what it meant. And that night, a magnificent angel of the Lord stood before the shepherds and the shepherds were shocked. But the angel spoke gently to them saying, let there be peace and goodwill among all people everywhere. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is the Messiah. This will be a sign to you and you will find the child wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Later, the shepherds would tell everyone what the angel had said to them about the new baby and everyone who heard their story, they were amazed. There was a choir of angels singing, singing joy to the world. This amazing star got a lot of attention. Three wise people who were queens and kings and rulers from the far east saw this star and thought it was the sign they were waiting for, for a change in the world. They started their journey and went where the star directed them and the magi and the shepherds and the angels all came together with Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus together in a manger in Bethlehem. In the Bible stories of Luke and Matthew, they don't all come together at the same time. But we imagine it that way, together with the sheep and the cows and the donkeys, celebrating the joy, the hope, the love at the birth of a baby. And always making room for whomever needs to hear the story. Above. 
parents, not the shepherds, not the magi, not the sheep, no one knew what would happen at the end of this story. And so it is with every birth, a new life filled with hope and anticipation, filled with the promise to bring love and to change the world. It came upon a midnight clear was written in the 1840s by Unitarian minister, Reverend Edmund Sears. He was writing for a world filled with strife. He was writing for a moment of solemn stillness that we might hear the love song that the angels bring. So I invite you into a moment of solemn stillness as we enjoy this carol. If you have a candle at home to light in this very moment, I invite you to sing Silent Night with us by the light of that candle. 
and you will see the promise of the years in photos as we sing. Photos of members and friends of this congregation who have brought so much love and light to the world. May we always seek to tend and share that light and peace and love. Christmas story is told and retold to remind us all of the promise that comes with each new life, that the world will be changed by each person in it. On Christmas, we hear these words from 20th century Unitarian Universalist Sophia Lyon Foss. For so the children come, and so they have been coming, always in the same way they come. No angels herald their beginnings, no prophets predict their future courses. No wise people see a star to show where to find the babe that will save humankind. Yet each night a child is born is a holy night. Parents, caretakers, sitting beside the children's cribs, feel glory in the sight of a new life beginning. They ask, where and how will this new life end? Or will it ever end? Each night a child is born is a holy night. A time for singing, a time for wondering, a time for worshiping. Thank you for worshiping with us this Christmas Eve. We extinguish the chalice and the flame of peace and joy are carried within each one of us into the world. We wish you a very Merry Christmas. Closing our service with these church members and friends caroling to the animals of Trotter, the therapeutic riding and off-track rehabilitation place in Woodland, California. To you, a very Merry Christmas. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 Don we now our gay apparel, fa la 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 Troll the ancient yuletide carol, fa la 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 Blazing, you'll be for us. Fa la 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 la.
Adventure.